Welcome to Tales from the Flip Side. This is the uh, Modern Playbook team. We're gonna take it easy because you know it's the summertime, and we're just gonna do pickups today. So let's uh, kick it off with Joe. Okay, so I, I went to a video game store. My buddy said, "Hey, uh, and the store had been there for about a year, and they sell used video games and and some some uh, like '90s vintage stuff." It's it's, uh, they have like dogs in there and it smells like piss. So <laughs> I, I, I braved, uh, I held my breath and, and, and I looked through, uh, all they're all the way in the back and I looked through a shitload of books. So, um, I think, I think I scored. <laughs> so I love uh, those shops, man. <laughs> so I picked up, uh, that it's a new stand. Anything with, uh, Cheryl Blossom on it. It's a cool cover. This came out in 95. Goes for about twenty bucks. I was looking on eBay, so, but uh, I kind of like it. <laughs> uh, Tape Quest, high grade, high high grade. I'm probably going to send this off for sure. I I, pick, I went by again today to pick up number two. I got that for six bucks. I got this for ten dollars, okay. and then I got these for a dollar each. Like unrest. Boba Fett. I had to get this, this Spider Man uh, official movie oh, yeah. adaptation. So, always, man, grab those whenever yeah. you see them. Uh, these just came out of the press a little while ago. Tomb of Dracula number 18. It's probably a fine, fine plus. Awesome. Um, uh, Werewolf by Night. Right there. Uh, X Men 109. So, that's a key. The Weapon mm -hmm. Alpha. I love that book, man. Uh, 106. Um, 107. Love that one, too. Beautiful. This one is is was on the top 10. I found it. Paid a dollar. Man, Ross, he's, he's a legend. Tales of the Jedi, Golden Age of the Sith. I pick these up all the time. I'm like a Star Wars freak. That so. Rama Tut? <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> I, I liked it so much I picked up two of them. Nice. So um Ben S was on the show the other uh the other night and had picked up some books and he had picked up this one. So I ordered it like the second I saw it. And so it came in yesterday. Mama as a mama. Stein is always, Stein is always good for some, some my really goodness. Tough books. My goodness. Okay. Uh heir of the empire. Dude, I thought I thought I was gonna get uh, issue one, dude. These are all high grade. That's the only one the fucker didn't have. I was pissed, dude. Uh, Mara Jade. I think that's like maybe her second appearance after her first solo. Could be first solo title. What do you think, Phil? Is that it? I think it's the first solo title, but it's an okay. awesome cover with stormtroopers for sure. Oh yeah, dude. Uh, she Hulk's number one. I've never seen that. Um, Heir to the Empire trade paperback, first edition. I mean, brilliant. Unread. Nice. Uh, Thrawn on the back. That's beautiful. Uh, let's see. Dude, you're going to freak out, dude. So they had two of these bad boys. High grade, bro. High grade. Oh. <laughs> it's beautiful. Like the only disappointing part is they're not newsstands, but dude, they're never read. Who dude, cares? Thought, yeah, dude. I was I was just reading today uh, that Armor Wars is going to start filming in next year, so you got oh, time okay. to, to press got that time. and send it in. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, see, uh, you see, maybe I'll be able to get it back in time. <laughs> I found that one. It is it's mint. What issue is that? Huh? Uh, la, 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 la. 19. Nice. And then um, Ben will like this one. This is like my fifth copy. Oh, man. Dude, that I got that. Dude, I got that for five bucks, bro. Oh, I, you're a criminal. You are an outright criminal. Five bucks, what's dude. What's the condition? Uh, Fine. Fine plus. Okay. I, I pressed it. Mama, pressy. How much, how much were those X-Men? Oh, dude, five bucks each. <laughs> oh, my God. 
I was all like, hey, man, you can't go off of high grade pricing, dude. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> uh, let's see. I picked up these what ifs. They're cool covers. Yeah, this one yeah. is uh, uh, if uh, Deadpool was possessed by Venom, part four. And then uh, that's just a cool cover, man. Yeah, you can't go wrong. And then uh, this one's going to Ben. This is the non-newsstand. He was saying, man, I've been looking for that book. So I sent him the newsstand. Now I got now uh, his uh, twin sister over. <laughs> Thank you, man. Hey, hey dude. Like, dude. One <laughs> dollar. <laughs> Incredible, uh, man. More heir to the empires, except for number one, right? Another one of those. Double Dragon had to pick it up, right? Um, when the when the when the fat lady swings, there's Bubba Fat right there. I don't know. It looks between a Rancor and a Wookie, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Good description. Uh, another heir to the Empire. These are all mint, dude. Uh, Spirits of Vengeance. Rise of the Midnight Sun, number one. Uh, bon Jovi, Living on a Prayer. <laughs> um, then I picked up uh, Origin of Amadeus Cho. One dollar. Nice. Yes. That's a good book. Uh, another Golden Age of the Sith. This is a newsstand. I like that. She looks like uh, Ben Ben Affleck's wife right there. What's her name? Um, Jennifer Garner. Yeah, right. Doesn't that look like Jennifer yeah, Garner? Just like her. Life, yeah. Yeah, this is probably her a muse or something, right? That was when the Alias show was coming out, and they probably just stole her likeness. Uh, this is a cool cover. Shadows of the Empire Evolution. Nice. Pretty cool. Uh, J. Scott Campbell goodness. Some J. Scott Campbell goodness. All new Savage She Hulk. And then, of course, I got like 20 of these. Oh, yeah. Wow. So that was there. Dollar. I took it. Another Tales of the Jedi. Let me see if that looks like Jennifer. Uh, no. Uh, Phil Noto. One dollar. I then love I, that guy. Noto. He's a, he is amazing. And then uh, who did this art? That kind of looks like Matina-ish, a Delato-ish. Could it be? Know. Could it be Leno? You maybe? Yeah, one of those guys. So I picked that up. Just a cool cover. Hmm. And uh, let's see. Found that. It's uh, uh, kind of low. You see that stain on there? I tried getting that stain off. It was a pain mm. in the ass. But Joe, was this also the same place, man? Same place, bro. And then uh, picked these up. Um, Still right, steel. Nice. So there's the Simpsons right there. I don't I don't know if that's a big deal. And then you got some like Frank, Hero magazine, man. Uh Frank Frazetta Death Dealer card in there. So and are then, you gonna open them up or let CGC open them up? Well, I'm not gonna grade them. <laughs> I know. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh this one, uh Hero Illustrated has um Dark Empire 2. It's a uh special. But Dark Empire and Dark Empire 2 were shit. So, and I don't know what that card is. It's somebody. And uh, I picked this up uh, probably about five days before I went over there from my buddy's yeah. shop. Yes. What a masterpiece. Brilliant. Hey, but Dark Empire 2, doesn't that have uh, Solo's twins in that? In that series, yeah, yeah, <laughs> but it's just it's a tough read, man. Kind of yeah, reminds it's, it's no longer 2017, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that, that was my haul. I spent about 160 bucks, but man, just with those two war machine books, man, dude. I mean, shh, the rest was all gravy, dude. I'll probably yeah. list those X Men, all three of them, on and just put it at auction. Tell me, tell me how much you want first, okay? Really? I, I don't. I, I was just going to put it on an auction, but if you want to buy all three of them, I'll, 
I'll, I'll I, let you look at them. I'll send you some picks. And I love that 107. I know everybody talks about it with the Star Jammers as what first full. I think they had a cameo before that. But yeah, it's also I, first Imperial Guard, right? For the Shi'ar. Yeah. I mean, yeah, Gladiator. We're ways away from getting into the X Men cosmic universe, but Gladiator. When we get to Gladiator, it's gonna. He's gonna be huge. And and then this one, dude. Like I could not believe it. I saw the first pat thing that I was going through in the books, and I pulled that, and I was like, "You got to be kidding me!" You know. And it's meant. I mean, it's, I don't even have to press it, dude. Like that's gonna be a nine A. So nice. I was pretty happy. All right, that's gonna be a tough act to follow, but who's next? Very cool. I got a bunch. I I, I can go next if, if nobody else wants to. All right, I'm going to start with this. I, I bought this book. I didn't know what the fuck I was getting myself into, but, um, you know, I guess I wasn't reading. But so, so, so I bought this bought this book. It's uh, Shadow Man number one, and it, the cover is made literally out of fucking glass. Like, like, that's not an exaggeration. It's a glass what? cover, right? That's so I don't it. even know how you grade this shit. But this is what happens when you start going down the rabbit hole on a fucking artist. This is uh, Jeff DeCall. His his name's gonna come up a lot in this uh, in this presentation. But literally, this book is made out of fucking a sheet of glass. Like, what the fuck? Will they grade this? Yeah, but they'll they'll list fingerprints all over it. They'll list <laughs> them in the gray, in the gray. Bro, how do I how, how do I press this? How do I press a sheet of glass, bro? With but, another uh, with another sheet of glass. But so to clean it, don't you just use Windex? <laughs> yeah right yeah so I, I don't know what to do with this book but um anyways yeah i i, I bought that um if that's also like a what you said a one in 250 is, is that what yeah so it's one in 250 right so you i don't know who was buying 250 copies of this book <laughs> um you know shadow man number one like my read my, my store had like two copies of it right one copy of it so that could be his rarest book they're out there. You can find them for like three, four hundred bucks. Um, but um, uh, but there's not a lot of them. If there's twenty five of those books out there, I'd be shocked. I'd be shocked if there's twenty five of those out there. To be honest with you. All right, so that's, let's. That's me crazy. The ship too, <laughs> dude. I got it in a gigantic box. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Like, I didn't even know what it was. Look, I, I didn't realize it was actually made out of glass. Like, there was some mention of like it was a. Like a glass cover. I just thought that it was like glossy or some nonsense. It was literally a sheet of glass. It's a quarter inch thick. So hmm. um yeah. Interesting. This is the rabbit holes you go down. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna rattle off some books here. Uh I buy this book every time I see it. It's Gwenpool's final issue. Yeah. Uh, there were three copies of three covers for this book. Uh I think there were about fifteen or sixteen thousand printed. Um, I think half of them were this cover. Um, making it pretty rare, right? So maybe 8,000, but buy it every time I see it. Absolutely love it. Um, uh, you know, and it's an homage to uh, the first time we ever saw her, right? So that, right, she's sitting in the pool. It's it's the Bachelor, um, Deadpool Secret Wars, Secret Secret Wars number two um, qualifier. So uh, yeah, I love this book. Okay, so I bought in the bag... A wizard. Like, why the fuck are you buying wizard number 90 in the bag? Well, there we go. Yelena Belova's. Oh, her, man. Her first appearance, right? So I'm as bullish on this character as anybody can think of in, in, in near term. And, uh, you know, so I grabbed this for 10 bucks. Um, I'm going to, this book is notoriously difficult in high grade. Uh, I'm gonna get at this, and hopefully, you know, if I qualify for nine eight, there's not there's not many of them. There's maybe four or five. So um, grab that. Um, you know, I grab th this book is a qualifier as well. Really tough. Um, oh wow. Um, uh, Samson and I were talking about this book. I wish he was on tonight. Um, but uh, you know, I challenge you guys to go out and find this book. It, it's really not out there. Um, a tough one. A lot of these action. I'm sorry. These a lot of these uh, trading card um, covers are are really really difficult to come by. Ms. Marvels uh, seem to be one of the hardest. So, you, you know Samson's story about that, right? Well, uh, uh, I don't know. I'm sure we talked about it. What, 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 what so was he it? he ordered it on Amazon, 
and then you know that's what was pictured and then when he got the book he ended up getting something else completely like it wasn't yeah. even a miss marvel book like you know it's funny man all right so i do know that story because i bought that on amazon and he was like dude that fucking guy's the shyster you're not gonna get it and when it showed up and i i, I told him about it he couldn't believe it right so i actually bought that on amazon and I sent him the guy I bought it from. It was the same guy he tried to buy it from and got screwed on. So, anyways, that's that's, that's crazy. Too, that's too funny. <laughs> All right. So this is a ratio. Iron Man Legacy number one. Yeah, uh, this I got is that. this is the minerding, right? So, um, uh, Steve has talked about this uh, this guy a lot. I like this guy's covers a lot, but um, he does some absolutely brilliant work. <clears throat> Steve labeled him a baller. I'm going to steal that from Steve. He is a baller. And uh, this cover is beautiful. But I wouldn't have discovered him unless you discovered him first. Really, I, I just <laughs> I just found out his name. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I was buying them because I thought honestly I thought they were photo covers. His, his art was so right. spot on. They looked like they were photographs, but they're and not. He's, and he's got uh, yeah. I mean, he's a baller because he is like the vice president or director of uh, MCU art or, or something like that i mean he comes up with the conceptual sketch uh sketches I, I imagine he probably you know works hand in hand with feige so yeah yeah and he, he has a handful of books out there I, i've started to do the research maybe it's a rabbit hole um feature for us at some point in the future but there's not a ton of them but they're all fucking awesome yeah uh, and his instagram is unbelievable if you love the mcu check out his instagram Here's a couple of books that I did not get, but I was sent by Josh in our group. Josh, thank you. That's awesome. These are beautiful, man. So this one is awesome. The next one I'm going to show, though, is a book I've always wanted. I had no idea how to find it. Josh is a ninja when it comes to foreigns. I mean, he is uh, one of the best of the best. Uh, but this one, man, I have always, always, always wanted this book. And he hooked me up. So, Josh, thank you, bro. I owe you. Thank you very much. Man, I wish Josh was my books. friend. <laughs> I bought these two books from a shyster on whatnot. I mean, this guy was a shady character. And uh, no, I'm joking, man. I bought I bought these from Steve <laughs> uh, on on on, uh, on whatnot. You know, these Marvel tales are wildly underappreciated, man. So, um, this is arguably the first appearance of Captain Britain. I mean, there's it's a little convoluted, but we got Spider Ham on there, so I got this, and uh, and then this yeah, one. that's a fifteen dollar book, bro. Fifteen dollar <laughs> book, yeah. <laughs> and for those of you watching, it's sort of an inside joke, but if you're watching a lot of whatnot, you may get it. <laughs> uh, but this one I loved uh, because I, you know, I, I don't have, um, I don't have the first appearance of Gwen Stacy uh, in comics, but this this, this is pretty cool. Uh, it's a newsstand as well, and uh, I don't know. This sort of hits hits a lot of notes for me. So, anyways, thanks, Steve, man. I uh, thank I you, Brian. Um, I'm, as Mel would say, I'm slumming it with those uh, two dollar books. Oh you know? man, I was I was super happy when those showed up. All right, probably my all time favorite Gwenpool cover. Oh, oh who no. did the who did that art? Uh, this guy hasn't done a lot of work. I forget his name. Um, I forget his name, but this book is it's a one in twenty five, and there's these are actually pretty tough to come by. Um, but it's probably my favorite Gwenpool. I grab them I, like you see them; they're usually listed super expensive, hundred bucks or more. I grab this one for, for fifteen bucks, um, so I grab them whenever I see them. But probably my favorite Gwen, Gwenpool cover. Um, I grab this for five bucks. Um, Jeff to call. Um, uh, second print Iron Fist. Um, um, this may show up on one of our lists at some point, or maybe has shown up on our list. That is not why it was on there. It wasn't my pick. But if you look over here, you'll see his autograph. Um, so uh, I don't know. I just uh, I, I'm grabbing his stuff and kind of got lucky with this one. See All right. So, up, baby. so since you have that autograph, I have to ask the panel who has the better line autograph? Is it the call or is it JTC? Oh, man. Um, I like to call. He kind of hides his autograph in all of in all of his all of his covers, right? You kind of have to look for it. When you find it, it's there, and you can't miss it, right? But you got to go looking for it a little bit. Uh, but that's that's a little bit of bias coming out in me personally, just because uh, um, you know I'm a huge fan. Well, um, to me, 
like I like to call this autograph also, but like with JTC, like it's like you don't even know it's there. Like it's literally like a line and then like some bumps. Yeah, no, I I think that's right. I mean, it's just you know, the calls is, is, is tends to be a bit more of an autograph maybe um, than JTCs, but uh, you know who else has a has a sig like that is um, Brian uh, Stelfreeze. Is is if you look at some of his covers or get something signed by him, he has uh, one of those type of sigs as well. I, I just don't understand why people that are famous have to like sign their name like they're embarrassed of their name, <laughs> right? And especially artists, some of their signatures don't even look like anything artistic about it, you know? Yeah, no, it's it's weird, man. I, I would just rather them put a thumbprint on it. You know what I mean? Well, you know, if they're going to sign that shitty. Well, everyone right. can't have the uh, Stegman Stegosaurus signature. Right? Yeah, yeah, Stegman's is get, awesome. Yeah, yeah, get creative, dude. You know, fucking assholes. <laughs> All right, so so this book, I could not be happier own. And this is a shout out to Mighty Mel V. He sent this to me. Um, so thank you, Mel. I owe you, brother. Um, this is a one in ten, um, uh, Jeff to call. Uh, this book doesn't fucking exist outside of Mel's collection, apparently. Um, I've hunted this for a while, couldn't even get a sniff of it. Um, but but he hooked me up for this. I mean, you know, one in ten for uh, an indie book like this, um, really tough to get. But uh, God, I'm so happy to have it. I'm gonna get it sent in. But I, I was looking for this for a long time. Maybe one of my very favorite uh, to call books in my collection. So thank you, Mel. That's cool. All right, I, I love books like this. Um, this book isn't really hard to find right now, but I think it will be over time. So this is uh, this is a one in twenty five um, for a book that probably didn't even get ten thousand ordered. I love Black Cat covers. I love this version of Black Cat from the video game. Um, this is in Huck Lee. This is the number number five of five. So you know copies weren't heavily ordered, uh, but this book should be a future ghost. Um, so grab this. All right, so this book I think people need to wake up to. It's not expensive. You can find it for cover. Um, everybody went nuts about Stinger. Um, her, the book people chased um, was Astonishing Ant-Man number six, where it's like the big foot coming down with yeah. on the bottom of it. And that book goes for big money currently. Um, but if you look at that appearance, it's like a lot of these first cameos. She shows up on the last page. Um, issue number seven, she shows up on a monitor at the end, doesn't really count. This book is really her first full appearance in Sonic Ant-Man number eight. There's two covers to this. This is an Age of Apocalypse cover, and then it's a regular cover. Uh, but I think if Stinger gets hot, this book's going to go crazy, and um, and nobody owns it right now. I may add it to, to the list in the future, but anyways, um, just grab this. Hey, Steve. Are all the Age of Apocalypse covers are are those um, qualifiers like the? I, uh, I don't. Iron Man? I've never looked into that. I I don't I don't know. I don't yeah, think they I, are necessarily. Yeah. Um, but I don't know for a fact. But I'm not even speculating one versus the other. I just happened to grab this one today from from my LCS. A, a lot of those Ant Man variants are disappearing, dude. Like, uh, there's a lot of cool variants in that run. No, yeah, well, this was not super highly printed, and I'm telling you right now, this is her first full by that definition. It, it, she shows up on the last page of issue number six, yeah, and that's the one everybody's chasing. And that's like, there's there's countless times we've shown that that isn't the book that matters. So this this could turn into something, and uh, this is a cover price book you can guys can find. So, um, all right, man, listen, I am not Mercenot. AKA Carter. <laughs> I am not Jessup half price cook, but, but today, man, I, I pulled something I've never pulled in my life, man. So I grabbed this book out of a 50 cent bin today. Uh, if, if that's not proof bin. of like comic karma, I don't know what it is. Yeah, yeah, seriously, I man. Like comic karma. Is really this book is not a nine, eight, but it is not in bad shape, man. This wow. book could be a nine, four, maybe, maybe a nine, six, right? 
from a 50 cent bin. The owner of the store is like, no, no, that was a mistake. It wasn't supposed to be in there. <laughs> and uh, like we went back and forth and he ended up giving it to me. Um, but fucking hey, man, like I, I, I'm not like those guys. But like for me to pull this book, I was shaking a little bit. So uh, I'll press it for you if you need it. Oh, man, you're the best, Joe. Um, it's 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 pretty clean. It, it's pretty clean. But from a 50 cent bin. Got this today. Super happy. I'm going to Sweet. speed it up. I got, I got a lot of books here. Hold on. What does a 9.6 go for? About 600 bucks? Well, it looks like he didn't check eBay at the register. So, you know. He, yeah, didn't. No. he didn't. He's like, he's like, wait a minute. He's like, you know what he said to me? He's like, how about this? He's like, how about five bucks? I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, dude. Walk out. And you know, the funny thing is, is like it left there with like 15 books for $10. So we didn't even do the math right. So whatever. Um, no, you should have gone. No, it's 50 cents. <laughs> <laughs> um, nobody cares about this book. I like Pulp Fiction covers. Dude, that's awesome. I um, didn't know that existed. Yeah, man. Yeah. I is that a DCU? Book book. What's, uh, what's that? Is it a DCU? Uh, no, I'm pretty sure story. there's a DCU version of it. No, yeah. and I just like how they distress the, the the corners on that book, like the poster. That's awesome, right. man. Yeah, I'll speed up. Books nobody cares about. Bubblegum cover from Bombshells. I, you know what? Oh, I like, okay. I like bubblegum covers. Make fun hot of me, girl, man. I got the hot girl bubblegum statue. Um. All right. So I didn't know this book existed. TJ tipped me off because there were there were, there's a regular. This is a foil and it's fucking badass. And it's Dude, also is that Campbell. I don't know if it's Campbell, but it's a bubblegum cover, and that's all I really care about. And it's fucking look at that foil. It's badass. <laughs> Dude, it, that's kind of it, cool. It's a dynamic forces book, man. Like I don't does, know what the does, deal was on this thing. Artist. Yeah, yeah. So there's a regular cover of this that I was aware of, but TJ tipped me off to this one. And I got it for fifteen bucks, but there's um, there's uh, yeah, there's some kind of dynamic forces, dynamic forces thing in there. So, open super, it up. Super fun, super fun. Open it up, Ben. <laughs> All right, so here You're is uh, us, bro. Here's a super, super fucking obscure to call. Good luck finding this thing. I have no idea how I find it. I got super lucky. Um. This is Creature Entertainment. I like their stuff. Mel, Mel likes their stuff. This book you can't fucking find. I don't know how I found it. Dude, that's a cool cover, dude. Uh, Where are you finding ravenous. these things, man? Well, this is Ravenous. This cover was banned. She's kind of naked here. I don't know if we're going to get banned <laughs> for this. Um, she's kind of covered up um, by blood. Um, but anyway. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> ravenous. Uh, tough, tough book from Creature Entertainment. Hey, when when a girl's hungry, bro, she's hungry. <laughs> All right, book I always buy. Uh, Champions number five, second print. Gwen Pool on the cover. I love the second print. It's I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, All right, ghost, ghost, fucking ghost. I can't explain the why this book's a fucking ghost. Um, a Gwen Pool holiday special by yesteryear. Go look for it. See if you can find it. I, you can't. You can't. I, I, I finally found it. I don't know what they what they produced from this, but you can't find this book. And there's plenty of other store exclusives you can find. You can't find this one. All right, real quick. Uh, this book, another to call. Um, I ordered, tried to buy this book four times. I was my order was canceled four times from four different sellers on this book. I don't know what the problem is. This is cover C. I'm sure Valiant wasn't selling a ton of books at this point. Uh, but this book is not exactly easy to come by, it seems. Man, I, I wonder uh, who the model was that had a pose like that. <laughs> <laughs> it was Jelena Belova. <laughs> Probably, man. Disjoint their hip. All right, Gwenpool Strikes Back, number 2, 125. Copies dropped off like crazy after number one. Um, one of her tougher books to find, but I, don't I like this book. All right, real quick on this one. Um, I got this is oh, I yeah. went to an LCS. Sweet. I, 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 I grabbed a bunch of books out of his back issue bin. He said, um, this is $125. He looked them all up on eBay. I'm like, I'm not paying that. Um, so I said, Hey, listen, can I grab that moon night off your wall there? It was listed for 12 bucks. This book goes for a hundred bucks, so fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> um 
Gwenpool scratch cover for but I got it for five bucks. Uh, this is a 200% qualifier. I grab these because I like people sketch Gwenpool covers, but they're actually pretty tough to come by. Hmm. All right, yeah. book I love. If you look in the bottom here, it says 761. Right, this is cover A. Why is it the sixth version of this cover? This was produced uh, for Walmart specifically. Um, this cover is pretty tough to come by. I look for these things like crazy. Um, rarely find them. I found two in one week. This one and this one, same thing. Huh. Um, book I always look for. Afterlife with Archie. I don't know. I love this cover. Um, Dude, they had a bunch of them at that. At that, should I pick them up, Ben? Those after look online, man. People list these things for fifty bucks online. I got this for three bucks, but people list them for fifty bucks online, man. Yeah, I should go back and pick them up, dude. Um, God Emperor Doom. This is a second print. Um, you don't see this book very often. It doesn't no. go for shit. Um, but um, it's um, Secret Wars number four, second print. Um, grab this from the Hall of Comics. Thank you, boys, um, for five bucks. Um, but a really cool book that, that maybe could do something, but you never see it. Going quicker here. I'm sorry, guys. The call. Uh, this was a um, a Kickstarter book. You know, you can't find this book. I don't know how I found this book, but I found it. Uh, the call has some ridiculously difficult books to find. I don't know what the fuck is going on with his books, but there's some really difficult ones to track down. Man, I can't wait to edit this so I can re sit there and write down all these books now. <laughs> uh, so this is arguably Adam Hughes's first comic book cover, I'm told. And I grabbed this for six bucks. It's so convoluted, who knows? But I figured, what the hell? Things Look at the signature, crazy. man. Wow. Yeah, this is going way back, man. You see that? Um, but uh, yeah. yeah. You can see uh, the iconic lips, the lipstick yeah. on the girl. But man... Did he draw them dudes? Because they don't. <laughs> <laughs> they both look like Johnny Cash or something. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, but this is I got this for like uh, for like six bucks. Um, the, the, this is an important book. I don't. I don't think people. Is that his first art? No, he didn't. He did like um, he did some internal art, and then there's actually I got it right here. This is arguably his first cover, uh, but this is Amazing Heroes and. Um, this is not a real comic book. It's like a comic publication. I think the stuff yeah, inside of this is more like content rather than like, right. comic book. but, but this may have been his very first cover, if you will. Yeah. This may been his first preview, comic I cover. think that's the preview to his comic, the maze or whatever. Yeah. I don't know. I, it's, uh, yeah. Cause I've, I've got that run of the May. I think it, I got issues one, two, three, and four. And he, he did those covers. Got a couple more here. I'm almost done. Listen, I think this is an underappreciated book. This is Mike Mayhew. Oh and wow! Th this this is an homage to uh, the unlikeness of, of being. I, I lost. I, I'm losing my mind here. But the, anyways, the, the, this is an amazing, amazing cover. Maybe Mike Mayhew's best work. Um, so grab that. Love it. The unbearable likeness of being. That's what it is. Um, um, this is a one in ten. Grab for, for for five bucks the other day. I, this cover is fantastic. You know these IDW one in tens. You know they they sort of hit hit the sweet spot for me. I don't think these are heavily ordered by most comic shops, and uh, and there's some cool some really cool covers. Iron Man two uh, photo variant uh, prelude. I, I love these prelude um, comics, but uh, grab this one. Uh, two, a couple more here. All right, this is champion. We talked about champions five. This is champions number four, second print. Uh, Gwenpool makes a uh, a very late cameo appearance in this book to, to tip off the next the next issue. So <coughs> this one's harder to find than the other. I just don't think they 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 printed as many of these. But uh, love finding this book. Um, really cool second printing. And last but not least, uh, yet another. This is a Jeff to call um, version one. Win. Win. Uh, yeah, for we only find them when they're dead. 
We only find them when they're dead. Yes. I wow. Is that a number one? No, it was later in the series. Um, I could open it up. I think it was number four or five, maybe. I think um, it's issue three. Is it three? Yeah, I, I, I don't know for sure. I was, but I, an LCS sold this for five bucks, so happy to take it. Crazy. All right, that's it. Sorry, that was a lot. All right. Very fortunate. Who's following that up? That's that's a pretty tough act to follow too. <laughs> Aaron, I'll, I'll go ahead. All right. <laughs> Man, this right. shit is fun, dude. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't done it in a while, so might as well. No. Right. So I, I think the first time I was on Modern Playbook, I, I talked about a, a free collection. And uh, <laughs> I, I, I keep getting these free collections. And I probably shouldn't talk about them, but I'm just being transparent. Um, <laughs> you know, I mean... I, I think I think dealers get these. They just don't talk about them. Yeah, you you I, know I, what I, you look like that that when because uh, we were doing a chat and and you had all these books on the floor. You yeah. look like a kid who had just come from trick or treating and had to dump the bag of candy out on the floor so the parents could see what what uh, if there was any well, razor blades or well, anything. that's what happened. My my <laughs> wife got an email from one of her friends going, "Does your husband still sell comics?" Is my son. You know, uh, went through him. He took, you know, what he was wanted from, you know, his childhood. And, you know, I, I just want to get rid of him. And can I drop him <laughs> off on your porch? And so I got home from work. Uh, I think it was Wednesday. And there's 12 grocery bags, like brown grocery oh, bags full of, of comics. Dude, so that's, that's like my dream. Like literally. That's yeah. Like my dream. <laughs> it, it, was, it was pretty cool. So there was, um, uh, I think I haven't processed it all yet, but. I, I think there's a full run of uh, Peter Porker in there. Oh, dude, yeah. that book is tough, dude. Seriously. Yeah, yeah. It is hard to find. The, yeah, the I, one I like, with the I like that one. Um, a collect uh, <laughs> the le the first free collection had a, a huge run of Hulk, and I was really disappointed that it didn't have this book. But this free collection had it. Oh no! Oh, I got that. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was really, I was really bummed that uh, that first. Because if you're gonna hold up the 181, Steve, I'm gonna have to come down to, and, and we're gonna have to. <laughs> that yeah, 282, no, that 282 is is going up, man, big time. It's hot, yeah. Um, Bucky O'Hare, number one. Nice. Yeah, I really like this th this one. There wasn't too much from the from the 70s, but dynamite. I mean, wow. and, and, right? and the Blue yeah, Falcon, number one. Beautiful. I mean, I think that goes in the PC. Dude, I, I grew up with that, man. Yeah, me too. Me too. Um, these aren't particularly high grade, um, but they are what they are, you know, um, right? Oh, man, yeah. The, I mean, those you can't turn always down. Expect something, man. For yeah. Now, these, these three, I haven't gone over them, but th th they're not – they they look like they they're in potentially good shape, at least three out of four of them. But the uh, oh, nice. the Carnage Venom, yeah, dude, that's a Actually, new a fucking, uh, <laughs> 362. Wow, uh, I'm sh pretty sure there's a full run of what the, which uh, you know I, I always love this cover, and I think with Craven coming on. You know, dude, I, that's I have, awesome. I've never seen that, dude. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's, yeah that, that's um Raven the Hunter. That's one of the best parodies <laughs> ever, ever. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. And I know this was just on I, I talked about this on the top ten. This was Topher's pick last week. So that's pretty cool. That's Bart Simpson, right? Yeah. Early appearance. Oh, yeah. Early appearance. And this is a uh, an old uh UD Mel V pick. Um, I have a copy, uh, and I, I, I'm just not going to let it go for less than a certain amount. This is the first, <laughs> this is the first pork grind, and he is yes. the equivalent of Venom in the Spider Ham universe. Ooh, and I'm waiting you. for the day when pork grind, go, you know, I'd be lying if I didn't tell you that I had more than one of those. In right, <laughs> right, yeah. Um, there was a, a Thanos uh, quest uh, one and two. I don't know where the this is two. Yeah, I picked that up today. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. 
That's awesome. Um, I was I just found this tonight in the collection. It's an almost full run of Superman Adventures. I like this cover. You don't see this one that often. You see the Supergirl one, but That's Superman nice. and Batgirl. Yeah. That's pretty cool. And the funny thing is, I I forgot. Like Mark Millar wrote a lot of these. Like I was going through these issues, and it's like Millar, Millar, Millar. You know, I mean the same. You know, the same guy who's writing. You know, some of the you know smuttiest books around. You know, he started off writing these, you know, animated books, right? All right, they're not really the smuttiest books around, but um, uh, had some early issues of Spawn in there, a number nine. Um, fortunately, du duplicates of number one, Ugh. a Batman the Killing Joke. Uh, this is the 10th print, even though the UPC on the back says nine, it's a 10th print. Oh, the fun um, one is finding 13th print because the side is different. Ah, okay. It, I will, instead, of, uh, instead of all black, it's like blue or something like that. It's weird. Cool. Um, there's an almost full run of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Adventures, but I, I haven't even gone through that yet. Uh, but not number one, not the miniseries, the one going. Um, I have a couple pickups um, from uh, that I bought from Whatnot. So I've been selling on whatnot uh, for the past week or two, really enjoying that. But uh, you can get some real deals. Um, and I bought these two. These are two of the three books I bought from LV. Uh, you know, I'm a big Department of Truth fan. I didn't have the baby eating cover. Um, <laughs> and uh, so I got that from Mel. Thank you, Mel. That's a nice uh, Hive comic. Thank, thank you for letting me pay you for it. I mean, I forget what I paid, but it was it was it was actually it was less than eBay. Now, you know, Mel, watching Mel on whatnot, I mean, clearly he does a much better job than than I do. A lot of people do, but um, but um, you know, Mel tells you after each book that he sells whether he's like angry or or happy or if he's <laughs> just okay with it. This was one where he was like, you know. Yeah, I he he wasn't happy, you know, because I I think I, I oh got yes, it for like, man, I, I love that fucking I, book. I I got it for six bucks because I think <laughs> six I, bucks. Yeah, you six bucks. Me. Yeah, and I think I think that was one where he's like, yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, you know, you could just tell he wasn't pleased. <laughs> that like, that, that is people. on my future ghost. <laughs> that is on my future ghost list. For books. And you know, I mean, that's the thing we're figuring out about the crowd on whatnot. They're looking right. at this book probably, and they're going, "Yeah, it's a picture of a girl, and it's Hellcat." What, you know, what's so special about this? So, right. yep. a one in oh, fifteen God. on a low printed book, anyway, man. Love it. Yeah. So I got that yeah. from whatnot. Um, and what else did? Oh, one other thing I bought from whatnot. This is from our our buddy um, Skeff, uh, Skeff's comic knowledge. He uh, made a, a huge sale, um, whatnot, even put it up on their IG page afterward, afterwards. Uh, he started this at $1, a Something is Killing the Children, number one, first print, signed by James Tinian. And uh, the auction ended, got in a little bit of a bidding war there. 1600 bucks later, I'm the proud owner of, uh, of this book. So... I think I just kind of felt that uh, left out because everyone else uh, in the comics world besides me is the one the something is killing the children train and owns the you know uh, the second print uh, and the fifth print of issue six and you know I don't so know see, what I'm is, doing. Is that but... auto in the copper that matches the top of the book too? Because it's perfect. It looks like. Yeah, you know what? It's well. Let's see. Um, no, it's more of a reddish. Oh, okay. Than copper. But it might just appear on screen. Yeah, it looks like it almost matches perfectly from the screen here. But yeah. Hey, what does the back look like? Because what does, they're, what they're... does the back look like? Yeah. Okay. So if you don't know, like uh, I know they covered it on Flipside. They saw you. Everyone saw that like five thousand dollar sale, six thousand dollar sale for a sign. Something is killing the children, right? Yeah. 
so that was the ALA version, the American oh, right. Library Association. Yeah. So that that's why that went for so much, like which was you know crazy, you know, but not really because um, I think like eight hundred of their copies got destroyed in the flood of the building, wow. of their storage building. Yeah, I mean, I, I know like this much about something is killing the children compared to the rest of you, but I do know about that ALA. Uh, I don't know for sure if that's a record, but I, from from my awareness at least, that is the the biggest book that's gone at auction. I think you know a lot of sellers, rightly so, are kind of scared to put the big big dollar books on there. Right. You know, if you if you've only got one bidder who knows what it is, you could it could go for half price. So. I know Comic Man Andy sold a buy it now for seventeen hundred, but for for at auction, uh, that's the biggest one that I'm aware of. Right. Well, well now it's official. I've I've gone from El Cheapo to a whale. I'm a whale. Not <laughs> whale. You know the comic um, market is hot. Yeah. It's, it's what happens when you hang out with us, right? Yeah, exactly. Well, you know what happened. I'm going to follow this up. These these are going to be the, my last two pickups, um, hanging around with you guys. I know I talked about this a couple months ago uh, at the Comics Pro auction. Uh, you know, I, I shelled out to win the uh, foil department of truce that had a 75 issue print run. Got it back. Got them back from CGC, and the worst possible case happened, which is. I got a nine eight on the foil frizzin, right? Nine six. And that there's the tiny onion logo on the back. And in a true first world gold plated problem, I also got a nine point eight oh. <laughs> on the foil regular cover. Tiny and even onion. though in an ideal world I could just keep them both, I feel like I probably should sell one of them. So that's the first world gold bladed problem I have. Oh, is is I'm sorry. You know, do I do I sell this one or do I, I I sell this one to sort of cover the cost of of the book I love? Um, and so I think I already I think I already made the decision. Is I, I think this is already up on eBay, um, and. Uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll I'll put that on whatnot um, sometime. I did have success um, starting an auction on another slab th this past weekend. So um, nice. Yeah. So that that's uh, that's what I have for for this week. All right. Who's next? Uh, I guess I'll try to follow that. All right. Um, I'm sure you can. <laughs> yeah, so I, I want to give a giant shout out also to Josh Allen who sent me the wow. uh, this Japanese graphic cool. novel, oh, the man. Score World. So, that is yeah. amazing! Holy, that's, that's how does badass. Josh find this shit, man? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll send you the link after this. So that's bad. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a great awesome, website. Man. That's a great but, website. Yeah, so uh, this is also um, I got this in the mail not too long ago. So it's a it's a call cover. Uh, was it House of X number three? Um, Wait a minute. Other people are allowed to get the call covers besides Ben? Really? Yeah. I, you know, every once in a while, I'll pick up one. Okay. So uh, I, I picked this up off of uh, Mama. So I thought, you know, it was a cami. So I was like, I love Street Fighter. And yeah, you know. Did you, like, did, did you get that for, 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 uh, for cover, whatever cover is oh. for exclusives? But did you have to buy it in aftermarket? Yes. Uh, sorry, my internet was breaking up a little. But yeah, I I got it for I bought it off the website. Oh, nice. So I paid. It so sold paid out right lightning time. fast. It was it, it sold out really quick. I mean, so that one sold out in like two hours, but the uh, uh, Chung Lee one sold out in like less than half an hour. Um, I I found this online also, so I was like, yes, Avengers uh, six eighty four. So yep. this is Scotty Young cover first uh, appearance of Immortal Hulk. I always thought this looked like you know like a pickle, but I, right, kind of funny. it does. Yeah. Or, or Slimer, <laughs> right? Yeah. All right. So uh, I went to Comic Palooza in Houston, and um, uh, actually, no one recognized me, which I, I was pretty happy about. So I was like, kind of <laughs> cool. I can blend in with the crowd. But I don't know. Some of those dealers were giving me like sour looks and wouldn't talk to me. So maybe they noticed 
but didn't say anything. That's that guy <laughs> from Flipside, man. <laughs> But anyways, uh, yeah, so, I mean, especially if you're going to sell a Gargoyles 1 newsstand for $10, I'm going to pick it up. Oh, uh, <laughs> All yeah. day, baby. Uh, nice. Uh, I found this uh, Doctor Strange 390 Deadpool variant. That was kind of cool. All new, all different Avengers number four. I thought it was kind of cool with uh, Sam Alexander, Miles, and Miss Marvel. And, you know. I love Deadpool, so gotta you know what, Aaron? Can you put that up again? Like those yeah. books for those three are going to become a thing. Um, Marvel's featured those three on so many covers; like people are going to start chasing these over time. So this is a good one. I don't have this one because I'm one of those people who chase them, but that that's a good one. I like that. Yeah, that's, it says it's it's a one in ten. That's that's why I think Richard Ryder's not in play, dude. I think it's going to be all Sam Alexander, man. If 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 Feige brings out Richard Ryder, it'll be like <clears throat> something small. Well, they, they, they may bring him out first to plant the seed to kind of give weight to uh, Sam Alexander, right? I could see them doing that, but Marvel's telling you these three are featured on so many covers, right? Right, so many covers. They're telling you these three characters are important to us, right? So, um, um, and, and you know, hold on one second. Did their first cover? This is an important book. Hold on one second. Yeah, I wasn't I wasn't mad about that pickup because uh, the guy sold it to me for cover price. Damn. So, yeah. Their first, their, their, the first cover they were ever featured on together was this book right here. And oh, okay. um, it was just Nova, Nova number here. three. Sorry, Aaron, I don't mean to steal your show, yeah, but yeah. I think it's important. Right, so this is the first time they ever featured together on a cover. Hmm. This is actually a second print right here, but this book... I've been grabbing this book for a long time. Um, even even the first print is, is tough is tough to come by. Um, but uh, this is the first time we ever see these three kind of together. There was one other cover where all three of them are on it, but it was with a bunch of other heroes. It wasn't really featuring just the three of them. Um, I, I think over time, this book could become something. And it's not expensive, but... Um, uh, because we see them featured so prominently over and over and over again by Marvel. Um, so I like this book a lot. Um, in this second print, if you see it, this was actually really tough to come by. Uh, grab the second print for sure. Don't hesitate. But even the first print with the yellow Nova uh, look, uh, trade dress is, is definitely worth grabbing. Because I, I think this is going to be something at some point. Anyway, sorry. I didn't mean to steal your thunder there. Aaron. All right. No worries. Uh, let's see. I picked up a Deadpool versus Thanos uh, number two. This is the uh, Retailer Summit variant. I thought it was kind of cool because it had hit monkey on it. It kind of looked like kind of photorealistic. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. I know Tony's going to like this one because it's a Spider Punk cover, the action uh, action figure variant. This is for Spider Verse number one, series three. So I do. I actually do not have that yet. Nice. Yeah. yeah. So I thought it was kind of cool. Um, here's some Hastings picks pickups. This guy always has. It's like the like casing. Uh, I always run into them in Texas cons. Uh, this is Obi Wan and Anakin uh, issue one. So I thought it was kind of cool. Sweet. I find myself being nostalgic for the Hastings covers these days for some reason. Yeah. 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 Uh, so, you know, Phil sent us down that rabbit hole of showing Dr. Afra covers on his drunken chat one night. And then he was like, he showed the uh, connecting covers. Well, I picked up the other connecting covers here uh, the Vader down and the. Uh, Star Wars part, so yeah. So I have the other. Who did, who did the art on those, man? Those are beautiful. Uh, I don't. Oh, the European artist. I forget who it was. Someone not very well known. All right. Uh, how about some old school Greg Horn? This is Emma Frost number one. It's where he uh, got the influence for all the Blood Money covers that you know with Harley, uh, Punchline. Everyone else. I, I can't believe that's number one. Like I, I had all of those books. Oh, it's number twelve. My oh, number twelve. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was yeah. say, I, I, it just didn't look like a number one, but um, yeah, I, I had all of those. I had them somewhere. Th those were awesome. Yeah. So, uh, and they're to come by like that run. Some of those books. I mean, they 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 they, fe they fetch some pretty good prices. Yeah. Yeah. So. I picked up this uh, Deadpool number 16 second print. Uh, Daniel Way is my favorite writer for Deadpool. And mm -hmm. I always pick these up because like, I think they're for a while they were like listed like crazy for on eBay and stuff like that. But 
I think this is this the issue where it's a first hit monkey? Is that sixteen? Where the is cover ace seventeen, isn't it? Is, or nineteen? Is it or oh. I don't remember. But uh, I found this for eight dollars. What is? <laughs> yes, <laughs> what is the yes. Yeah. So I couldn't complain about that. Uh, first appearance of Forge X Men one eighty four. How about some uh, long shot? Love long shot. Super hot book right now, man. Nice. New stand also, man. Yeah. Um, let's see. Picked up a suicide, a suicide Squad number nine. Jim Lee cover. Yeah, that's just a badass cover. Dude. Yeah, I, I, I love that when it came out. There's also, I want to say maybe a New York Comic Con variant of that where it's, uh, I think it's a sketch. Yeah, I, I have that. Okay, right, cool. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then I thought this was a pretty cool pickup. Uh, Black Widow number one, volume two. Oh, wow. I've never seen that. That's nice, dude. Yeah. So it's a, that's the series where they swap faces and they don't know it or whatever. I mean, I think that's the run there. I like that one, man. Let's see. And then there was a booth there that had uh, a bunch of comics for a dollar. So I thought this one was pretty cool. It's a Black Gwendo. Um <laughs> window <laughs> yeah yeah uh blind adam was talking about it on uh it's drunk and chat one night and then we uh we found out it was a qualifier variant uh, i don't know what the percentages are or anything like that but i was like okay i mean for a dollar can't complain and then this is a shout out to steve i found this for a dollar if only sylvia had looked a little bit more like that right yeah <laughs> Um, yeah, so and then I went to this other booth that had like I guess they're they sell store exclusives and then like they sell like incentive variants and what they were saying is like oh, okay whatever it's marked is what that sells for but if it's not they're ten dollars so they had this uh, Eve number one it's probably probably the best pickup I had oh, man I'm jealous that's a, yeah that's a big book yeah what what's the incentive ratio on this one. That is a one in 50, and there's a, also a one in store. They're kind of neck and neck in, in value, but that one's in the first place right now. Crazy. And then they have this uh, G.I. Joe 281. So, Yep. Uh, so that'll do it for me. It's a nice haul, some, man. Yeah, and I'll be back at the con. That's some good books. Yeah, so I mean, uh, I guess if you're kind of wondering what prices are like at cons, they're kind of all over the place. Uh, I went to like one booth, they were super organized, they were, you know, price to market, everything. And then other booths look like they hadn't opened up their inventory since last year or the year before. That would be before awesome. Yeah, so I mean, I found a whole bunch of those booths. Um, and then, yeah, but everyone had slabs, which was kind of interesting. Like, <laughs> Like yeah. above normal than like how many you would see. All right, but who's next? I can jump in if that's all right. I don't know who who else is left. Phil, y'all, and I'm I'm not too exciting. So we're, we're ahead, saving the best for last. Whatever, man. Right? No, I'm not too exciting. Seriously, <laughs> You're break out the gelato spider. Probably man. shit we've never <laughs> even <laughs> seen <laughs> before and all yeah. that. <laughs> All right. I don't have anything giant either. I just got a bunch of small stuff. I'll go kind of quick. Maybe one big slab at the end. Uh, I, you know, I pick up a lot of random stuff. I haven't. I'm not jumping down any deep rabbit holes right now where I'm getting twenty of any anything in particular. But oh, like man, that prison. fucking book is awesome. This uh, so I jumped on the Black Mask website uh, about a week and a half ago, and they still had a bunch of a bunch of issues of this in stock. I don't know if they still do, but you might want to check it out. So this is, I believe this is the second print of number one. They had issue number two, very provocative covers. Issue number three, this is not the, the big variant that everybody's chasing. Issue four and issue five. I actually had one of these and sold it for about 40 a couple months ago. Wow. So I really like that series in general. Uh, otherwise, again, this is kind of random stuff. I am I'm kind of chasing these '90s covers that you know you always go through the bin and you're like, oh, that's kind of cool. Um, in high grade in a newsstand, I, I think those are the next 
one of the next waves. Just rando, uh, nice covers. So I know you. I've talked about this before on on some of our other sites, but I, I picked up another copy of this Banksy uh, Department of Truth number nine. Jeez, man! I just love that thing. I just I. I mean, it's it's not a super cheap book, but it's. I think it's still pretty undervalued right now so i will take advantage of that as i can i also have been haunting whatnot like you steve and you know especially when you jump on the stream of somebody you know you're like you just jump in i don't know you get that uh yeah. i've never i was never a qvc guy but it, you get that <laughs> right, oh, no, that's, that's not a bad price no, right, I'll, right. Yeah, I'll bid again so i picked these up from ninth wonder he's had some really good sales i to be honest i am not specking on stray dogs i'm not on the 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 bandwagon maybe i should be maybe i'm missing out i've got i I picked up a few covers um but i got those from him just wanted to show support uh ninth wonder he has had some really a couple two nights ago he had a really really good uh whatnot sale so follow yeah, him if awesome you stuff. have a chance this is one i always pick up i love speedball i love the arc as you know at the beginning of civil war when he is part of the new warriors it causes the death of all those the school children and when he becomes penance um i don't know if that'll ever hit screen again another 90s cover where you you see it and you're like oh yeah no that's cool um i i did actually read quite a bit of dc in the 90s and i always loved this guy and i've just picked him up they're just super cheap like i remember when that came out dude i i don't know <laughs> i don't know what it was i really i i just dug black condor so i just pick him up yeah. and I see him. all right and i've got a rep uh minneapolis i forget who's what not this was but i do have a purple rain collection i Omar's think that was collection. mine well, this, was this from you? Yeah, I, I sold those two in a lot. Yep, yep. Yeah. Yep. Well, thank you very much. I, I have awesome. a few of these already. Thank you. I got to go through mine and see which ones are the, the highest grade and maybe send a couple in. Um, these 25th anniversary, it seems like every six months they take another notch up. Like they're not super on fire, but right. every one of them is, is on somebody's radar. So. At a good price, I think that's a good one. Always love this one in newsstand. It still hasn't popped, so that's fine. I'll keep. That's surprising that it hasn't. I mean, it's a it's a big print run, but it's the X Men man. It's just so beloved, yeah. except for with Carter. I remember that video from last week. <laughs> uh, I know he's not as much of a fan. I, I think that was on his own pickup. He picked one of those up, and he. He, he it's not so much the book; it's the series, man. He yeah. liked the. Uh, you liked um, Pride of the X Men. I would agree. Right, yeah, that. yeah. And I, I, I didn't dislike the X that X Men series, but like, it wasn't anything like that. Pride. Like, if you liked the Spidey and his amazing friends, like that vibe. Like, right. X, the the X Men, it was its own thing. But like, I, I kind of see where he's coming from. I did love the X Men Adventures anime, whatever. That that was awesome. But I mean, I, I, I can see why. We should have a segment with Carter. Like, which do you hate most? Like X Men Adventures, or Stephen <laughs> Beatings, or you know? Yeah, we I still have that theme fun. song stuck in my head always. <laughs> well, I mean, this came out in the era where we were not getting Marvel properties on screen. We weren't getting movies. We were getting very few cartoons. So, I mean, even in, I was a college student at the time, but we were glued to our TVs when on Saturday morning. Oh, dude, those I, I loved Marvel. Like Mar, you couldn't even get Marvel action figures, right? You could get the Secret Wars stuff here and there, but that that had kind of passed. Like when that came out, and those action figures, came, like that was like that was like it for a while. Like you was like, all right, we're finally exist, right? So I, I, right. I totally agree, man. Yeah, like, that was a huge, huge thing. Um, so I don't know. I, I do pick up celebrity covers, David Letterman, especially the newsstand, if you can find them super cheap. All right, I'm going to show you a cover, and I am man enough to uh, to say that I purchased this. You know, I'll even tell you what it is ahead of time. I'm going to show you a Barbie cover, and you're going to look at it and think, hey, that's kind of cool. I, I really like that. I, I found this at a half-price books, but just the design of it, 
Yeah, dude. It's a dolphin homage, man. That's a great cover. How it pops. Yeah. I, I think... really, really love that cover. There are zero. I mean, there's, I went down the rabbit hole a little bit. There's very few Barbie books on CGC for probably good reason. Uh, but they're not really out there. I could not. I, don't I know. look for that book all the time in the kids section, man, and it's never there. Yeah. Yeah. I think Topher wrote about that book and some of the other barbie covers a couple yeah. years ago yeah it's, another it's, title i always pick oh. up when i'm digging is middle west just because they're super cheap scotty young just knocked it out of the park with these covers yeah that first one that you're holding right there is a badass cover yeah uh, these are from later in the run the first six five or six issues each had a lot of late printings and those late printings second third fourth fifth are very very low print run and some of them are just beautiful. Yeah, man. Um, I I'll got tell you what, Scott Young does not get the love he should, and it's not like he's under love, but like the guy is really, really, really something special. I think. I mean, I'm excited about his new series that's coming out next week or whatever, a month, another month or whatever it is. Yeah, right. And then how many creators are double threat where they can draw and they can and write? Right, and to knock yeah. it out of the park like like he did, he's done with Strange Academy. I mean, that's that's a, a huge influential book already, and it just came out. Um, all right, so this is another rabbit hole. I so there are very few image first books and or any of the dollar books, the true believers that have any value whatsoever. Uh, for Saga, there are three of these that came out: one in 2012, one 2014, one 2017. From what I can see, none of them, none of them made the Comicron list. And I know those Comicron numbers aren't solid. No, I'm sorry. One of them did. 2012 did with just over 1,000 copies. 2014, 2017 did not. And the last place book is right about at 1,000. So if that's correct, each of these is right, is 1,000 or less, basically. If you think about the RRP, there are 500 copies of that out there, and that's a $4,000 book right now. I'm not saying that any Image First is ever going to be a $4,000 book. That's not what I'm saying at all. But if any of the Image First books pop, uh, and I don't know if they ever will, but if they do, a very limited edition printing of Saga is probably the most likely contender. That's yeah. interesting. Tony, yeah, can, you the, the, can you tell the difference from the covers at all, or do you have to look inside to tell the difference of them? Uh, I don't... The UPC is the same. Actually, one of these is a 2012. One of them is a 2014. I think you really have to look inside. You've got to Are look the back covers the, different? Uh, yes. Yep. So, I mean, you can memorize the back mm -hmm. cover, but yeah, otherwise you, need, you do need to look inside. I, I dug into the late printings of Saga Number Ones a little while ago, and for what I could find, the fourth print is overwhelmingly the rarest. It didn't make the Comic Con list, and all the other ones were kind of in the four to five to six thousand range. Even the fifth printing seemed to be relatively highly ordered, but the fourth, for whatever reason, kind of fell into a void, and right. it didn't make the cutoff uh, in the month that it was that it was sold. So. Um, that's, that's interesting about those. I mean, they could be even from what you're saying, even harder to come by than the fourth print. Yeah. I mean, I, I think retailers probably had saga fatigue by that time. I mean, it was a popular book, but how many printings can you have? And, and who cares about the image first books or the true believers <clears throat> as a retailer, you don't buy 40 copies of any of those really. Right. So I don't know, just something that it's, it's an interesting pickup. Uh, let's see. This was a book that I, I owned. I actually pulled it out of a Walmart pack uh, <laughs> wow. in one of the wow. first Walmart runs. Wow. And then I sold it for $30 or $40 or something. And I thought I was golden. And then it went up and up and up. And I think it got up to 150 raw. I, it, it dipped down back to a hundred. So I bought back in on a, on a decent copy, probably not a nine, eight, nine, eight, but I, uh, I, I've been a big fan of those Cassian Andor books. They have popped now, um, but you know if you have your very own, you're, you're, if you're the title character of a Disney Plus show. I, I love Jen Urso. That's solid. solid I love her. Yeah. Mama. <laughs> 
Uh, this Topher kind of got me on some of this. I had been chasing the first, uh, the first appearance of Pikachu in the U.S. There are some foreign stuff, but I, I'm more interested in the U.S. side of things. I had been chasing that Electric Tale of Pikachu. Uh, Carter and I had talked about that book, but then consulting with Topher, apparently the insert in this issue of Nintendo Power from whatever year this is. What 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 year? Uh, what issue is that? Because uh, that video game place that I went to had a bunch of Nintendo Powers. And I was just looking for the J. Scott Campbell one. This is volume 111. Oh, okay. So there were five of these. This is the first of them. There's an insert. Uh, you have to tear it out called Pokemon Power. You can find these on eBay by themselves. Obviously, they've got, you know, like a torn edge to them. I have found a couple of those. This is the only one I found that's still intact. Um, it is a preview. Uh, but, you know, it's more of a strategy guide, so it's not really officially a comic, but you know Topher. He's good at <laughs> finding a lot of that stuff. All right, I'll hurry up, guys. Uh, a newer book that from Boom Studios, Mammo, just released recently. Uh, I am really high on any almost anything that comes out from Boom right now. I think Ross Ritchie has a game plan, and, and he's enacting that game plan. So... Uh, this is the one in 25, and this is the one per store. Thank you, Steve, for confirming that for me. Sure. Super cheap right now. Uh, hasn't really – nobody. Did you buy those that. directly from Boom or – No, I just bought those on eBay. Just about 10 bucks a piece. Um, Star Wars The Old Republic. A friend of mine – we started buying these a couple of years ago thinking this was Darth Revan. We thought we were the smartest guys in the world. Oh, yeah, Darth Revan's first cover. This isn't Darth Revan, actually. This is Darth Mar. Uh, but uh, now this is uh, on its own. This is issue two of The Lost Sons, The Old Republic. That was the series that was based on the video game. Uh, there it's aren't badass, a lot of, man. That cover is fucking badass. Yeah, this this isn't Darth Mars' first appearance, but this is his first cover, and it is definitely a badass cover. This is a eighty hundred dollar raw at this point. Uh, Brian Simple Man's comics. He and I are are I'm the whoever sent this wrapped it in, in cellophane. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, wow. this is the this is wasted space number one. Uh, they did a variant where they they circumvented Diamond. You couldn't get it through Diamond. You had to show a receipt to them that you had purchased X number of issue number one, and then they would mail you one of these. Wow. So That's it, so cool, dude, that cover, man. I love that. Oh, you really good. There's not really a clue on how many people took advantage of that. Um, you know, I don't know. But what's I the, love what's that the, series. What's the book again? Wasted Space, Mike Morecci or Mor Morrissey, the, the guy who did uh, one of the big Star Wars books. Dude, that's right up my alley. That is sweet. Wasted Space is an awesome read. I don't care if you spec on it or not. Go buy the first one or two uh, graphic novels. Um, it's, a very, it's a very good read. It's a really good read. Uh, this I got from a horrible seller. His packaging was just Crap! <laughs> he said, no. "Uh, no, I my bargain, my bargain so comics." Like, I thought, yeah, I no, I'm, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that's how we get the bar bargains. We, we, we exactly. We, yeah, we Steve, don't, we don't really match them. This is the second print of Paper Girls number six. It is the only late printing that exists in that whole series. They did not do any late printings. I've, I've tried to figure out. I own more than that, but I've tried to figure out why they did a second printing of that. If it was for a special release or Maybe the artist did some. I, I, no, I have not been able to find that out it, at all. I don't. I don't think you'll ever find out the reason. I mean, just uh, you know, I know Image just you know puts them out as demand, uh, as they see demand. Yeah, but I think yeah. from what I understand, Brian K. Vaughn, I, I think he did have. A, I think this went against his wishes, from what I understand. Oh, really? Uh, I didn't really. Hear that. He was resistant. There haven't been any variant covers on Paper Girls. There haven't True. been any, you know, retailer variants. Nothing. Right. There's just 
issue one through 30. And this is the only variant that exists for any of them. The way you can tell the difference, it's the same art, but the on the second print, the ceiling is black. Yep. Uh, in, the, in the first print, the ceiling is green, just like the rest of the book. I have no idea why. Um, my spec play on Paper Girls, starting when a uh, couple, well, last year was to buy complete sets. I thought, you know, only 30 issues when the show comes out. A lot of people might want to just buy the whole run. So I've been trying to get as many of these as possible so I can be the only one selling true complete sets. Good thing I held a couple back. No, just kidding. Yeah. No. <laughs> well, are you, are you going to take it to Baltimore to have Brian K. Vaughn sign it and be like, why does this exist? I'd like to ask him. I'd like to, you know, maybe he'll be pissed about it. I don't know. Um, all right. I'll skip over some of this dreck. Uh, Lumberjanes, we all know that's coming out. I believe, is it HBO? Is that the option? That's sure. Yeah. Lumberjanes number one is, is a spec book. I, I don't know. They're fun to dig through. You know, they've got some cool covers. I mean, it's a kid book, but there's, I think there's other spec plays. I like the idea of, of Lumberjanes and I think going after a new market for comic books is important. Uh, so I, I do hope that's done well, and I hope it completely blows up. And they're super cheap. Little who's go. it? Frank Cho. Some Frank Cho action. I'm not focusing right now on the. Oh well, you get the point. Yeah, Champions. that's badass. And then last, I'll show a couple. Actually, this was another what not person purchase from Skeff, and it's going to be hard to see. I'm going to have to put it on an angle. This is Fallen Sun, The Death of Captain America, uh, signed and a remark by Joel Sinat. Is that how you pronounce it? Sinat? That kind of legendary artist. And the remark he did is just... So cool. Yeah, you really can't... There. I mean, it's, it's amazing. It's really, really... Does unique. it have the year that he did that? Uh, 08. He wow. signed all best, Joe Sinna, 08. Nice. So, yeah, no, I'm I'm not unhappy with that purchase. That is cool. At all. Skeff, thank you for, for the, the cheap book. My my big purchase of the week, though, uh, again, those 90s books that everybody loves. Those oh. covers. Oh. Oh. This is a Claremont signature. I'd love to get Jim Lee on there, too. Hell, yeah. Um, but you know, there are some, uh, I'd, I'd love to actually talk more about X-Men in one of our round tables. Cause I think covers, this is kind of one of the leaders, but there's a lot of those covers that in ultra high grade are going to be very important books to own at some, you know, down. So I've grade. got this whole run from when I was a kid. Most of it's a newsstand. I got that in newsstand that is borderline nine, eight. I That's mean, awesome. and I love, I that's probably my favorite cover of the whole, of his whole run. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I, I paid market for that. So that was kind of my big purchase of the week, but I'm happy with that. Cause I think there's a lot of room there. I always say it. I said, uh, don't you remember when the world was right and Jim Lee was doing comic books? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe he'll take a second crack at Wildcats. <laughs> yeah, All right, Bill. Let's, let's see what you got, man. I got this Blockbuster t-shirt at Target. Dude, that's badass. <laughs> <laughs> Make it a that's Blockbuster. Awesome. Dude, All you need I is a gonna... name tag, dude. Just get your name gonna... tag off of eBay, dude. Hi, I'm I thought you were going to tell us. I thought you were going to tell us you went to Alaska to the last one that existed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so um, yeah, I went to an LCS near my house, um, and then I I also had books um that I got from whatnot. Um, the mo uh, the one big book I got is the uh, Avengers oh, wow. Annual Two Six Point Five. I think I paid right. like yeah, that's the the first uh, Scarlet Centurion, um, lesser known Kang identity right but hey black cover give it a shot it was um 120 bucks matt if you're watching this thank you very much for that um 
so here's some books and whatnot. Um, I got a, a Miles Morales six Ooh, and near one. mid for like thirty six bucks. Um, here's one from Mel V. The uh, Forgive Me Father. Dude, Variant that's a fucking tough book, dude. That book is a tough book. How does Mel have all these books? Like the only person I know on the planet who has these books are Mel. And he's he selling them to warehouse, right? It, that, that his home way, yeah, no, I've got his this. Friend, like, it looks to, like to it looks like a like oh like a Hughes or a Cho. I forget the artist's name, but this book is awesome. I love it. Nice pickup. Holy yeah, shit. one in five. It's a, a creature from Creature, creature Entertainment. Comic. Yeah, it was a one in it was a one in ten or a one in twenty. It's one of the rarest books they've got. That's a tough one. Wow. All right, let me uh I think Mel was really mad about about me winning this one. The Moon Knight. Oh story. yeah, yeah. You, you won that one right before I won the won the Hellcat. <laughs> <laughs> he was not thing. happy. It's a good thing Mel drinks when he's selling. Yeah, <laughs> he's scared about it. You know, he's like, "What's wrong with you people?" You know, I paid market for this one. It's the uh, sensational Wonder Woman Hughes variant. Oh, yeah, awesome, yeah. man. I, I've always cool. wanted this book. Yeah, it's so cheap. You know, you can still yep. grab it. Um, here's another one. Uh, Thor seven hundred. Oh wow, that's the second print, right? Second print legacy. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah, that's a tough book. Yeah, it was yeah. advertised as a very fine minus, and I was like looking at, it, I'm like, nah, this is this is like a nine zero. Just got big rub, but. For ten bucks, can't go wrong, you know. Combined shipping on whatnot, you know. Yeah, yeah the only way I got that cover was because Joe sent me a copy. Nine eight, baby. <laughs> <laughs> he pressed it in that magic press. Right. No, I, actually, it was in great shape, dude. Like I, I, I put it in the press. It didn't need it, but fuck it. Uh, this is a torch cover by Alex Ross. It's good in center. That's I, cool. I, yeah, I I've never, never saw it, that. man. I've never seen that's that. badass. Yeah, that's real cool. I think there's one on eBay for like 17 bucks right now. And then after that, it just the price just rock got skyrockets. I just took a shot. I didn't even look it up, you know. So um the rest of these books are like they're all books that I got for like four dollars at the at the LCS. So this is a Matt DeVoe pick from a while ago. Yeah. It's a Doctor Strange 384 Young Avenger Young Avengers yep. variant. Wow. Sweet. I yeah, like super it. cool with the, the shield with America Chavez, you know. I love yeah. that. That's gonna be a big book, too. Mm -hmm. It's cheap right now. It's only thirty-five bucks. Um and you paid four dollars? Four, yeah, this so this next coming stack was all four dollars or God uh, cover price. I don't yeah. even want to look, man. <laughs> <laughs> but, the thing is that you have to have like an open mind, like buying books, you know, like like all you guys, man. You just can't just it can't just all be Marvel, you know. Yeah. But here's an homage. Um, <laughs> that's, cool. that's awesome, dude. That's cool. <laughs> I mean, that's, I was just like, I'm buying these IDWRIs, bro. Like, who yeah, calls? dude, that's no doubt, dude. That's yeah. great, man. Uh, you got to show that to Sean, dude, and to Brian. Oh, yeah, I plan to. Yeah, here's another one. Mars attacks. All right. <laughs> it looks like a nutsack on his head, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, oh, wow. It was a Split, but I mean, fuck it, four bucks. There's, there was only one copy for fifty on eBay. I'm like, yeah, all right, fuck it, whatever, man. Garbage the brains, very easy. Yeah, I'll speed it along. Ghost Rider, I think it's a Tashira uh, variant. Yeah, Tashira, man, he drew the best Ghost Rider. Hell yeah, he did. Yes, this isn't worth much, but I like the, the Hellcat book. They they were low print though, man. Like like literally, that book faded away after a shoot. Two or three. I mean, they really drop. So, worth grabbing those. Oh, here's a sleepy pick. Star two incentive variant. Oh man, cool. 
it's worth money. It's worth like twenty five bucks. But I paid four, you know. Oh, here we go, Ben. Here we go. Oh yeah, man, one in twenty five. Yeah, here you go. Mm -hmm. There we go. Yeah, oh, James, that's a good pick, man. Yeah, man. Here's another one for you, buddy. That one's even Shopping tougher. Cart. So that one is a much tougher. So that yeah, that's awesome, man. Yeah, they had another copy of it, but it had like so much color rub. I'm like, ah, I'll just get this one. Here's another one. Uh, yeah, that's the stem variant. Tough. That's another tough book, man. Okay. I thought we were supposed to talk about Gwenpool. Did I get the wrong memo? <laughs> <laughs> it's all because of you, man. Uh, so these are all unbagged, man. But yeah, Stray Dogs one, third print. I don't know what it's going for now, but. My, you know, I I think that could screen. be the low print of that of that series, man. Yeah, that scream that scream homage that resonates with a lot of people, man. Yeah, okay, a lot a lot of the '90s kids, man. Classic movie. Four bucks. I got a bunch of those books. I mean, I, I haven't done well specking on DC, but you know, there she is up in the corner. Like, she, I don't know, she could. Is DC ever going to do anything with all these cool new characters they introduced? They just kind of let them... Yeah, exactly. You think it's going to be like a package, you know what I mean, to whoever, you know, buys their studio rights, you know? The like first appearance of this guy. The Healer, I think is what his name was. No, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, The Healer. Yeah. yeah, I like that book. Here we go. Modoc. Second print. Yeah. Doctor Doom. Wow. Yeah. Those, do those Doom covers also, man. That yeah. second prints, later printings. Yeah, Electric Black one. So nice. second print. Oh, it is okay. Yeah, I think this guy's from Boston. I think the uh, the writer. We won't, hold that again. we won't hold that or against him. <laughs> <laughs> or, the, or yeah, go ahead. Sorry, that's options, right? Yeah, you got optioned, or I think the I think the first story is line is from Boston. It has something, something going on with the Bean Town. All right, I gotta read it now. He wrote me in. Um, haha, -ha one. Uh, you know what's surprising me is that these um single digit spawn books after three hundred are actually like worth something and taking off and being desirable for some reason. Yeah. It's like this one's worth like twenty two bucks. So what do we like, got? Like a big spike into three hundred, and then a fade away, fade away again. Is that what's yeah, going on? Yeah, they fade away after three ten. So I just grabbed them all. I'm like, fuck it. Yeah, might yep. as well. Yeah. This is the big one. Oh yeah. Didn't get the gunslinger, but uh, here you go, Joe and Tony. Nice. Oh man, I've right. got this book up on eBay right now. Nobody wants to buy it. Second, Second printing. printing. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it'll, yeah, it'll come back around. It's, um, you know, what the cool thing. So this is Kylo Ren three second print, and what the cool thing is that my um my LCS was like, you know, I just put these in the boxes just for people to find them. You know, he was just cool with cool like that, and it's like, yeah, man, if you do that type of stuff, it's like. You know, for books that I'm like 50 50 on, I'm just going to go buy them. You know, I'll, I'll give you some more money, man. You know, so you this think, issue two, third print. Do you think Adam Driver would ever come to do a series on Disney Plus? They pay him. Yeah. I mean, I, in the same way that they're kind of, uh, I don't know, like, bringing back the reputation of the, the, the prequels with, with some of the Obi-Wan work. I almost feel like they're going to want to do that with the last trilogy as well. Like take pieces of it and show you that. No, they should just retcon the whole, that last uh, uh, three movies, man, and start all over again. I That's what I mean though. I think they can take pieces of it and shove it in her face and say, no, honestly, this is really cool shit. <laughs> and I just, I just finished the, the last Terminator movie. I'm like, that that's like completely retconned everything. I mean, they can make it work. I think, you know, uh, Dr. Afra annual one this is the first uh, win loss and nook. So, high possibility of those two showing up with Afra. And then, yeah, I just got one dollar book left. It's, a, it's just a Gen 13 new stand. New stand, yeah. There we go. Yeah. You know? I, al 
I always pick up uh, anytime I see a Gen 13 newsstand. Well, yeah, that's the uh, extent. Nothing super exciting here, you know, just a, a regular haul like a normal person. So, man, an hour and a half for us to go through all of the pickups. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah it happens. That was, uh, that was fun. But, yeah, yeah. I mean, we, we should start doing this every so often, you know, just yeah. uh, cleanse the palate, you know. Uh, yeah, and I, I, I learned a lot. Yeah. yeah, so I mean, you gave me. Uh, I'm excited about going to a con tomorrow now, and uh, yeah, right. See, see, what, see what I can dig up for like cheap, and then like you know. You know no, like, I, I do think these are these are valuable because no matter what we do, we can't really talk about what we're thinking or what we're hunting, what we're seeing, and like just like a quick rapid fire. I bought this because of this because of this. It's it's helpful. I I, I think it's fun. Do you guys know what printing this is? From uh, the Killing Joke, so it's got the figures. <laughs> it's got the figures, and then check these little fuckers out here. Huh? Maybe it's the tenth print. Is it in the corner? Is it the old, or is it the not the old DC logo, but like um, the one in the nineties? It's it's a green. It's will it come out? Son of a bitch. <laughs> I guess I guess I would have to rip it out. I don't know when. How did you even I mean, find this, Joe? Uh, oh, I so found it I, a couple of years back. I I want to say that's probably the 14th print, but I know in C CLZ they also classify that as its own printing too. So mm -hmm. I don't know if it's both or just one. You know, I don't know if it's 14th and then this is the action uh action figure one. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, hmm. yeah. But I, I know that on the, on the 14th Prince, they changed the logo. It, it right. looks like the well, same logo, though. As like the old school? Yeah, I like, guess I, I guess want, I need to as, as like a first print. I know. We can compare it to, to Steve's real quick if you have it. Yo, his was yellow. Yeah, mine was yellow. Yeah. No, the, the top left corner. Uh, oh, the DC oh, logo. Oh, is that the '90s logo, or is it like the the one before that? Right, I know what you're talking. about. Oh, okay. It's I. Yeah. So let's stack here. Let's see. Well, hello, beautiful, <laughs> and you are beautiful. <laughs> Oh, here it is. Is that the nineties one? I think yeah. I think it I think it is that looks like it. Yeah. And then uh all right, and then Steve's has yeah, see so oh, okay, you know, yeah, so um the fourteenth print is the only one with the nineties logo. Oh okay. Just for how many printings did they make? Seventy two. <laughs> yeah. Simple is uh, Johnny Homicidal Maniac, right? There's 14, and then there's a bunch of foreign ones, and then uh, what else is there? Uh, there's like later reprints later, like from Lamol, um, like Batman Day and stuff like that, where it has like Harley Quinn on it and said, "Isn't the isn't there a Pride Month one where it's rainbow colors like right here?" Right? <laughs> yeah. Well, there's that misprint for number nine, where like, <laughs> yeah. the, 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 like it's like red and white. But anyways, I'm not sure how much <laughs> this is going to make it in. But I want to thank everyone for showing off your books. Like uh, it was a lot of fun, you know. Uh, a lot of research to do now, right? All right, but uh, y'all take it easy and um, catch you on the flip side. Good night.